Hey everyone, in today's iPhone video, I wanna show you exactly how to reset your phone to the factory setting or factory default. So if you're selling your phone, if you're giving it away as a gift, or if you're just trading your phone, you do have to do this. And I wanna show you a couple of different things you gotta do before you reset it to make sure this is done safely and correctly. Now, the very first thing I like to do is I like to go to settings here, my settings of my phone. And then I go to iCloud over here, just pressing my name. And then right here, I'm gonna find a phone I wanna back up. So this is the phone I wanna back up. I'm gonna click on it. And right here, it says iCloud backup. I wanna make sure this is on. And when I go to that menu here, make sure this is on and make sure I do a backup now or make sure the latest backup was recent. This is just in case you lose something, it will always be available on that backup after you erase your phone using iCloud that you could access on your new phone or on iCloud.com. And in the previous video, I did show you how to transfer from your old phone to the new phone so they look identical here. So then you could go ahead and reset your old phone, which is what I'm gonna show you in this video, but the other video is linked below in the description. So a few different things you gotta do to reset your phone. First, let's jump into the settings app of our phone right here. And you wanna click your name to go to iCloud right on top. And make sure you go all the way to the bottom here and sign out. When you do this, it will sign you out of your iCloud account. So I'm gonna go ahead and press sign out. Then make sure you type in your Apple ID password here to sign out of your Apple ID. And then you could press turn off on top here. And then it's gonna show you this page. It says, do you wanna keep a copy of any of these things? In this case, I don't because I'm gonna erase this phone. So I'm gonna just press sign out. And it's gonna go ahead and remove any iCloud related data from my old phone here. Everything is already transferred to my new phone. And if you look up here now, it says sign into your iPhone, meaning I sign out of iCloud already. So we're all set here. So step one was backing up our phone. Step two was signing out of iCloud here. And then step three is erasing our phone, which is under the general section of your iPhone. It has been for a long time. And if you go all the way to the bottom, you should see an option that either says reset iPhone or transfer or reset iPhone. I'm gonna press this option. And this is telling me to set up my new phone, but I've already done that. So I don't need to press get started here. I need to press erase all content and settings. In older iPhone, you'll also see this exact same wording here, just in different layouts. So press this option. So then it's gonna say erasing the phone will remove your personal data. That is what I want. I'm gonna press continue here. Now I need the passcode for this phone. So since it's my phone, I already know the passcode. If it's someone else's phone, you do need to get this from them. And then it's gonna ask you one more time to erase all content here. So erase phone. And then you should see the Apple logo screen and this is erasing your phone now. Now, once the reset is complete, your iPhone should load up on the welcome page here where it's telling you hello. And the one last thing I like to do is removing the SIM card from my old phone. I typically take it out and put it on my new phone because I buy the same phone from the same provider. But if you're selling it or giving it away, I still like to take the SIM card out because they still have to use their SIM card associated with their phone number. So to do that, you just need the SIM card removal tool, which typically comes in any iPhone box. So if you ever kept any of your iPhone boxes or if you have a new iPhone, you should see a SIM card removal tool in that box, which just looks like this. And if you have a case on your phone, make sure you remove it so you can access this right here on the side. Depends on what phone you have. Some are higher, some are lower. But if you just press the SIM card removal tool into it, you just remove this tray right here and you could go ahead and remove this tray and then take the SIM card out. See, I've already done it with this phone because I transferred it onto my new phone. But make sure you could leave the tray. Just make sure the SIM card it's taken out. Then once you have it, go ahead and close up this tray. You don't need any tools for that. And it's ready to go. And that's the proper way to reset your iPhone to factory settings. I hope you found it useful. I do have other video and resources in the description, including iPhone to iPhone transfer. So make sure you check that out if you need more help there. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.